Are you planning a trip to Bali? Here's some tips for you. So you just landed in Bali and you need to get to your hotel. So you could pre-arrange for your hotel to pick you up or you could go out of the airport and go to the Grab Lounge and order a Grab Taxi from there and get to your hotel. Now you landed in Bali and you need money. What is the best thing to do? Don't exchange money at the airport. It's too expensive. Instead, Take your debit card and take the money out of the ATM. And another thing is, you can use a credit card in any store here in Bali. So when it goes to you, when you're going to use your debit card, be careful. Skimming is something very, very prevalent here in Bali. I've actually been skimmed. I used my debit card at the BNI ATM. A couple days later, they were able to completely take all the money out of my account. So whatever you do, make sure you have your money in a different account when you're not using it. And also the bank that I do recommend is Mandini. We had no problems with this ATM and most people I've talked to trust and prefer that ATM to use over BNI. All right, so here's some things to know before coming to Bali or to kind of help you out with your budget. Uh, we rent the scooter for about 50,000 a day, which is about $3 or so. And that's because we're doing it long term. If you want it shorter term, it's about 70,000 a day, which is probably what, about four or $5, $6 a day. Uh, right now we found places for as cheap as $20 a night. It's because we finagled our way into a better room. But the pricing can be everywhere for the lodging. Our food. Typically, we can pay around 35,000 for a salad on happy hour, all the way up to 80, 90,000, which is about what, five, six dollars for a pizza. And so I would say you budget yourself about four to five dollars if you want to eat Western food, uh, closer to two or three if you're going to eat the local food, which is just as good, and I recommend it. And recommendations for the hair there are many really good hair salons. If you want to just get a haircut and styling, it's going to cost about 200000 And there are more fancier places. I'll mention it in the description below uh, where you can get anything done. I'll also mention the waxing place. The lady is really nice. She does it quick, quality, and you feel amazing after it. All right, so when you come to Bali, you're gonna be eating out. And here's a tip for you. If you wanna save 10% on the tax and typically 15% on the gratuity. If you eat at some restaurants, they automatically add it in. But if you eat at a restaurant with this word in it, it's typically family owned and they don't add in those taxes and gratuity automatically. And remember, always be responsible by helping out tipping your waiter or waitress. One more tip for you. Don't forget to bring your own sunscreen. Here you will spend a lot of money on a sunscreen. It may be from 200,000 to 400,000, depends on the bottle. For people who are light sleepers like me, you need earplugs because there are a lot of roosters over here. A lot of them. And one last tip before we go, it can rain at any time.